Today we're gonna to talk about chopping garlic. So what we wanna do is we're gonna start by using a bench scraper and we're just gonna take our head of garlic and we're gonna give it a good bash. So we're just gonna separate the paper. Now what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna do this again. One more time, we're gonna use our bench scraper and we're just gonna whack this piece of garlic so that makes the, the paper removed from the garlic clove. We'll have to use our paring knife to take away this little bulb that's at the end of the garlic. And if you see any blemishes or any green spots in the garlic, you'd want to remove that as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of salt and I'm going to put the salt on the garlic. And this helps keep the garlic from sticking to the knife. So I'm just going to chop the garlic. Again, you see how easy it is very easy with this large knife to chop through this garlic. And then, once you get to about this point, we're going to take our knife and we're just going to sort of work our way through the garlic. It's almost like a mashing motion. And this will get your garlic really, really fine. What you notice what I'm doing is I'm working this into a paste. And this is going to go right into here. So after we get our garlic chopped, I'll show you the second way we can utilize our garlic, and that's by slicing it. And again, we want it to be very, very thin. So I'm going to use my chef's knife, a little bit of salt, and I'm just going to slice this very thin. And we want it to be super thin again so it'll dissolve right in the dish. And the best way to make garlic sing in a dish is to use olive oil. Toast it in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It's the best way to start a pasta dish.